Hey guys, it's Chris Prefontaine here with SmartRealEstateCoach.com. I've got a question here that Larry wrote in. Larry, I appreciate it, and I answered you back on email, but I wanted to get you a more detailed answer. That was on a weekend. Uh, the email says, Hi Chris, this is great information that you provide us. I was wondering if one is just shooting out a quick email to some FISBOs to see if they're interested in doing a lease purchase deal, do you just come out and ask them, would you consider selling on a lease purchase? Many sellers don't really know what a lease purchase is and may have the wrong concept of how it actually works. Some investors say they don't use the terms lease purchase or lease option with sellers. How would you phrase it with sellers in a quick email to see if FISBOs are interested in selling on a lease purchase deal? Larry, good question. I want to read it all through before I thought, thought about it for you. Okay, a couple things. I don't think I said this on your email. First of all, I don't just shoot a quick email out. I don't think that's a good idea. My opinion, uh, as all these videos are, they're just my opinion. I don't think any, a quick email is the right way to go. Um, simply put, a lot of people are emailing. It's, a, it's an easy way out, so to speak, without talking to sellers. I personally would have you call or your VA call, and then the follow-up call from the VA or with yourself. Now you're getting into, you're, okay, you're following up, you can email them. My question, my script, just so you know, and we have a ton of scripts in, in the coaching program, but just so you know what I would say, once I'm talking to someone, my question typically for FISBO or expired is, well, let me ask you this, Larry, if I can get you to your number of X, would you be open to doing that on a lease purchase or via a lease purchase? Now, you are correct, many don't know what that is, so we have an excellent document that was tweaked and retweaked and retweaked, and it is the lease purchase explanation. Trust me, when they read this, they understand it. So if they say, what is that? I might give them a short answer, and that's in the script, so I don't want to bore you here and do a whole script thing, but I might, I might say, um, uh, it depends on their situation, Larry, actually, let me back up, let me retract. If, if they're upside down, or if they just want to get out of their mortgage payment, you know, if I'm hearing that in the conversation, it's a different explanation than, hey, I might just uh, find a buyer, fly you want to sign it back. So it just depends on their motivation and their whole situation. But I always follow it up with an email. If you look uh, in the members section, once you're in the coaching program, there's a conversation I had with someone live. It's an expired, actually. And then the email that went to them, the exact wording, and then the attachment of that explanation. That explanation is, is excellent. It's in the members section. I'm trying to think if there's anything else here. Bottom line is, Larry, call. Don't just email. Or follow up with an email. Have the explanation clearly outlined in the email. I just got tired of saying it, quite frankly, to people over and over and over. So I came up with a nice document. It's about a page and a half. Um, and I have no problem using lease op lease option, uh, lease purchase rather. I don't use lease option, lease purchase. Um, I don't have any problem at all. I'll tell you a, a stat that gets their attention. You can say this to them, and I, I'll give you some scripts here. You can say, "Did you realize that 82% roughly of the buyers out there can't get a loan?" And so that's a big pool of buyers. And Mr. Fisbo or uh, Mr. or Mrs. Fisbo, you're marketing to the 18%. It's a tiny niche. Or if it's an expired, your realtor was marketing to the 18%. It's a tiny niche. We fish in a big pool of 82%. We help them get financed and we help them cash out your home. And as a result, we get you top dollar. That's the best way of doing it. We can get you top dollar. Because remember, you're not doing a service for them. That would be a realtor. So I phrase it specifically like that. So I think that's it, Larry. I don't want to dwell on but great question. I hope this helps. Anything else we can do, let me know. And again, I, I bring this up every, every video because I think I should. The coaching program, uh, one deal, one deal, whether it's an AO deal where you assign and you're out or if it's a lease purchase where you're staying in a sandwich, uh, then it's a quarter of a deal. But at least one deal minimum and you take care of your coaching for the entire year. It's well worth it. I'll dive right into it with you. I'll call your sellers with you. I'll do live calls with you. I'll do live calls that you can hear on the audio. It, quite frankly, it takes about a month of doing that and diving in with me and partnering on some deals and you know just doing some JV stuff together for you to say, I got it. I really got it. And then we're diving into real deals. So I hope that helps, Larry. Make it a great day.